sharing of regional cultures, learn growth of regional languages and literature. Each of these languages has Prakrit rapidly literary languages. Prakrit Throughout medieval era, the tradition of Prakrit language continued through no outstanding work as produced. In 13th century, Krishna Leela Sukha laid down the rules of Prakrit grammar in Sirsindha Kava. Two important Prakrita, Three Vikrama and Prakrit Sarvaswa of Markandeya. In story literature, Siri Valakaha and Raina Se Harikaha are two important works. Chondukosa of the 14th century and Prakrit Bangal of unknown date are important metrical poems. The first phase in the development of the Punjabi literature or the Natha Jogi period entered from 900 to 1250. The second period was predominant as an age of religious on the other. A new school of poetry, lucidness of expression. Punjabi prose made good progress during this period and a number of religious and philosophical works were translated from Sanskrit between 1600 and 1800. Between 7th and 10th century, the origin of the Hindi language plays by scholars. Prithviraj Razo was written in Hindi by Chand Bardoi. Amir Khusro was a major poet of this period. Chintamani, Matiram, Bihari and Deva were eminent poets of the 17th century. Urdu Towards the end of 14th century, Urdu emerged as an independent language. It was based on Kharibol of Hindustani. In the beginning of the 15th century, Saint Gesudaraz wrote Miraj ul Ashikin. Urdu travelled to South India along with the armies of Aluddin Khilji and Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Muhammad Kuli, a ruler of Golconda, was a great poet. When Urdu literature North from the Deccan developed unfamiliar words used by the people of Deccan. Literary giants of this era were Mirza Jan e Jahan Marhar of Delhi, Mir Taki of Agra, Muhammad Rafi Sauda, and Mir Hassan. Languages that flourished in eastern India. The origin of Oriya, 14th century, Oriya literature assumed a proper shape. Sarladas, he was an illiterate farmer with an extraordinary genius. Bala Ramadas and Jagannath Das translated many Sanskrit words into their regional language. Court poetry with emphasis on ornament and intellectual fancy. Vaisnava poetry propagated devotional love. The top court poet was Upendra Bhauja, a magician with words. Healthy reaction to this excesses of court poetry and spiritual literature well as the style. 
during the 13th century composed Pralhad Charita and Hara Gauri Samvad. The king of Kachar, Mahamanikya patronized the chief giving it a local color. Besides poetry, other branches of literature like drama and prose also developed. Asmi's prose was given a definite shape by Bhattadeva who translated the Bhagavad and the Gita in prose. Medicine, astronomy, arithmetic, grammar, architecture were translated. Political romances like Mrigvati Charita, Madhav Sulochana and Shakuntala Kavya too flourished during this age. Gopalachandra Bhattadeva translated the Bhagavad Gita. Languages that flourished in Western India Gujarati The first literary work was Bharateshwara Bahubali Ras of Sahibhadra composed in 1185. During this time, the first phase of Gujarati literature were dominated by narrative and shorter poems. The Rana Malchanda of Sridhara and the Kanhar de Prabandha of Padmanabha deserve special mention in romances. The Golden Age Gujarati literature starts in 16th century. Secular forms of literature flourished. Mekandar wrote Shiva Jana Bodham, which was a compilation of the tenets of Savism. Looked upon as the popular works of the first half of the 13th century. Madai Tiruven Gadanathar translated into Tamil the Prabodh Chandrode of Krishna Mishra. In the 15th century, Aruna Girinathar composed the Tirupugal consisting of 1360 songs in various meters. Pillai Lokacharya, Vedanta Desika, Manavala Mahamuni deserves special mention. In the 17th century, Vaidyanatha Desikar and his disciples started a new literary school. He authored Hakkana Vilakam. Early 18th century saw the writing of Sirapuranam on the life of Prophet Muhammad in verse. It was written by Umaru Pulavar. Translation of Sanskrit Works Telugu Scholars The 15th century saw a growth of Saiva literature, Naisadha Kavya, into Telugu. Bamira Potana translated the Bhagavat Puran into Telugu. Veerabhadra translated Kalidasa's Shakuntala. Raja Krishnadeva Raya of Vijayanagar was an ardent patron of men of letters. Tenali Ramakrishna is perhaps the most popularly known of Panduranga Mahatmya. After the fall of Vijayanagar, standards in Telugu literary production fell. The earliest Malayalam literature is Unnunili Sandesam, assigned to the 14th century. The Namabudri Brahmanas of the Bharat Kampu. Rama Pannikar, who wrote Kannaza Ramayanam in pure pioneer in this new genre of literature. Ramajuna Elutakan was a pioneer in modern Malayalam themes with great mastery. 
Kathakali is a form of dance drama that became popular in Malabar in the late 15th century. That is all in this topic. In the next topic, we will learn about the Bhakti and Sufi movements. Till then, keep learning.